All right, what's up? Let me, uh, what was that? <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. Let me refresh. Oh, well, I gotta get this. Uh, to make sure we're not uh, echoing, make sure you can see us. Uh, right now, I'm just making sure the video is working. Um, looks like we're good. So audio, is audio good? Uh, in the chat, need to know. Yo, what's up, guys? Can you guys hear me? Let me know. Yeah, if you can hear me and if you can hear B, then uh, we can start the show. If everything is good to go. Uh, let me see. All good. Good audio. Appreciate right. that. We're good. Uh, let me see who's here. And then we're going to get, we have a lot to cover. This. I mean, we're gone for two weeks. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to get into. And people are going to win breads. I mean, Man. all right. So Eddie, Barry, Will, Josue, eBay Joey, who we met, Paper Drew, Maximo Fines. Let's see. UJ Dogs. Uh, keep going down. Let's see. Literary Vlogs, who we also met. Uh, Eugene, what's up? Daryl, Demand Mr. Information in Hand. Jimmy, what's up? Stevie D, Justin, Funky Soul, Sneaker Finds 12, District Deals, Tyler. Uh, let's see. Toe Wind, if I said your name right. Flippin' Vintage, Justin, Jorge's here. Tyler, Asian Newbie. Uh, man, all right, a lot of people coming in. Ghost Deals and Deals. And uh, Phil, what's up? Even Jake, got to know what to flip it, is here. All right, so to start off the show, a couple of things we're going to cover this episode. Number one, Bread for Giveaway. Number two, eBay Open, uh, the things that me, Ken, Jake, you know, know what to flip it, what we talked about, what, um, what we were able to at least give our feedback to eBay, what we want to see. And um, also just catching up on the last couple of weeks on fine store updates and, of course, the releases. Um, so let's see. District Deals already starting off the Super Chat. District Deals, 10 bucks. Um, starting off the Super Chat. What? Off the jump. Let's go. So he's ready. Caroline also here. Extra grands. Uh, B, anything you want to say? I'm just excited to be here. Um, yes, you're right. We've, we have a lot to cover. And... You know, at this point, I think I've redeemed myself with all the highlights that we put up on that basketball video. <laughs> all the highlights and then the low lights. Yeah. At the very end, if people like yeah. cut that. Yeah, they didn't <laughs> watch that. Nobody, nobody had time to watch that. <laughs> all right, so this is what I decided to do. Um, this is the bread for final people. This is I had to just narrow it down to this is just YouTube names. So I'm not going to expose your email. Um, I'm not going to do any of that. Here's your YouTube names and some people, familiar faces we see on here, Asian newbie, uh, paper drew, uh, flipping dollars, Doug, the pug district deals. If district deals wins, this might be our first ever riot on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like, what, like what the hell's going on here? Rigged. <laughs> exactly. So the thing is, too, I also noticed I had to really go through these. Some people, they tried, like, different names, same emails, all these things. And if you did they, that, they tried to cheat. yeah, if you did that, then congrats, you played yourself. Because then I just eliminated you, period. Because <laughs> <laughs> of, like, come on now. Um, so let me see. Uh, let me go on here. How do we get rid of this guy? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hide user. Oh, there we go. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do is instead of just picking randomly here and we just get, you know, two, you know, two random winners, right? Um, whoops. I've, now I got rid of the wrong guy. It's supposed to be this guy. <laughs> I, know, I was like, I what? <laughs> Tyler Young's. We need to try to get you back. <laughs> we'll work on that after. Anyway, uh, how's this guy still coming on here? Do we try to do it down here? I thought we already did this. I just did it. Oh, you did it? Oh, okay. Okay, we'll see. Okay, so what I do is we're gonna get um I'm just gonna pick randomly 20 people from this list. So that means um you have one in ten chance of winning since there's two bread giveaways. Because if I just do two, it's like oh man, it's it, it's over. It's not gonna be fun. So I'm gonna go in here. Now we got down to 248 from getting the 
I actually let it go to like 260. Now it's down to 248. So I'm just going to do random 20 numbers. And uh, those 20 numbers, then at the very end of this live show, those are the people that will be eligible to win. So let's go to the first one. So first one, number 38. So I'm just going to write them down. Second, 166. And then we'll find them in the list, 224. And then we'll just like pull those out for the very end. And those people will win. And they're all random too, because there's people that have signed up like super quick. I just randomized them too. Um, and then that's it. So I'm out to ship out bread fours this week. Uh, 147. Or should we just do 10? 10 or 20? 10 is fine. 10 is fine. All right, we got 10. Are you going to do two drawings of 10? I was just going to do two two shoes out of this 10. No? Oh, two drawings of 10. Two, oh, man. Two it's drawings of 10? That means we got to keep going. That means we got to get 10 more numbers. All right, I'll just do this quick. But I want to make sure everybody sees it because then they don't know it's like, they're going to say it's like super rigged if, uh, I don't know, Will or somebody wins. <laughs> or know what to flip it wins, which I don't know if that's going to happen. 194, 98, or if Hustlebee wins. 241. Yeah, I have my troll account there. <laughs> Bonus account. 48 and 71. All right, those we got 20 numbers. And then let's go here. All right, so number 38. Austin, you're in. And then number 166, which is so flow finds. You're in. And then 224. And Boomer 7980. You're in. And then 65. This is going to take a while. So <laughs> Geo 174. You're in. Uh, 217, which is Bradley. You're in. Uh, 202 is man, uh, Miguel and 207. Still kicking at sports. So there's a name we know. Oh. <laughs> All right. And then 129. Let's see. Gabriel, which we also know, has been following the channel for a while. 147. And Geo, you're in. And then 122. B's going to be handling the chat. Yep, I am. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, Corey Castro, nice, who we met, remember, in uh, San Diego. Uh, 247, which is Mimtel. Mimitel. You're in. Uh, 194. And that is Merch Mayhem, who we also know. Let's see, 98. MSK, you're in. Uh, 71. Uh, our boy Lewis in the house. Lucky on three legs, which we also know. Uh, let's see, 241 is Dak Barnett, you're in. That's not you, is it? Your code name? Mm, 105. We'll see. <laughs> 105, Tyler. And then 111. Which is X, what? XR, I don't know. That one you're in. And then there's what? 105. I think there's only three left. Oh, we did 105 already. So 48, which is Marcos. And then the last one is 197. And Ross V, which mm. hopefully that's not Ross the store. <laughs> And actually, there's one missing here. Oh, 241. I don't think we did that one. 240. Oh, we did that one. 71. I don't know why there's one missing. Uh, Lucky and three legs. Did that one too. Hmm. 98. Did that one. 169. And oh, hustle and silence. <laughs> one. What? Oh man. All right, so these are our final 20 at the very end of the show. These people, two of them, 
will win bread for. So thanks everybody that signed up and trust me, we'll have more giveaways. We're going to have giveaways every week. Nothing like bread fours, but down the road, you know, December, November, we'll do uh, more sneaker type of giveaways. So let's get into the live show. We'll put this away. And we did this. Okay. Um, word of the week. So schedule. Uh, schedule got super thrown off for the last couple of weeks. Uh, last week, no live show. People were like, what's going on? But if you watched the other one before that, you figured it probably wasn't going to happen. Uh, and last week, eBay opened. The week before that, we were the schedule was thrown off because we had videos based off of uh, some of the wholesale finds that I got. And then we had a live show on Tuesday. That was thrown off. It was completely different. Uh, but to catch up, we're ready to go now. And speaking of schedule, tomorrow, preseason, football, ready to go. Start. Wow. I know. It's about that time. All right. Let's get into weekend releases. And uh, Adidas, what is it, Don Issue 1 Stealth Spider-Man. Didn't we already talk about this shoe in a different color? Yeah. Trash. Don Mitchell. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Uh, 100 bucks comes out Thursday, August for oh, tomorrow already. Um, did the other ones even resell good? I don't know, I don't think so. <laughs> Anovan Mitchell, who's that guy? <laughs> who's that guy? Man, the <laughs> disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it was Hustler Hacks, you know. <laughs> oh man, all right, next one Undercover Nike Daybreak, which it feels mm. like we talk about this shoe every. Yeah, they Every keep week. They keep trying to make remake more. It's I don't know how they do that. I mean, like the first one, the black color was clean, the blue was clean, and they both flop. And now we have hustle. Yeah, yellow <laughs> hustle be color. <laughs> we need the poo color. One sixty. Uh, this comes also comes out tomorrow, and I don't know. I really don't see me like. You know, super hype on this anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, next one, Reebok Answer 5. Well, oh. This also comes out tomorrow. Our boy. Alan <laughs> Iverson. <laughs> yeah, dude can't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had, I think I might have had this this shoe, actually. Um, um, yeah, give him the backstory. We actually saw him at ComplexCon. Yeah, uh, we did see Alan Iverson. The uh, Reebok booth. Yeah, we didn't meet him or anything, but um, as short as I kind of thought he would be. No, he's actually shorter than I thought. Yeah, exactly. He was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was yeah, shorter. He's like, than... Yeah, he's not six one or six two. How it's listed? He's <laughs> listed at six, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's so. six or six one. I don't know. Yeah, he's shorter than what he's listed. Uh oh, eBay Joey forgot to thanks for the super chat. Oh Look yeah, on me at Costco. 10 bucks. Man, Glenn, see this? All people trying to feed me? <laughs> All right, we'll use that. We'll use that $10. Okay. And the one that did your deals. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, So the classic Iverson, you have to be older like me, District Deals, Jake, to appreciate something like this. Uh, Next one. Nike Air Zoom Freak 1 coming to America. Oh. So based off of 1988 comedy. Um, <laughs> which is pretty hilarious, and I kind of I like I'm digging the whole colorway and like based off the movie. But 120, nice deal. Would you rock these? Yeah, it's pretty clean. I actually like. I'm actually interested in trying to see. Um, I mean, it seems. I just hope it's not hard on the bottom, but it's a zoom bottom, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be zoom bottom. Yeah, I mean, it's clean. I I kind of like it. You know, I think I think Nike is going back to like having simple shoes. Because for some, you know, for a while, like, you have KD's, Kobe 80s, and what's the other? Kobe NXT? Oh, yeah. yeah. They're just, like, very, like, you know, there's too much going on. Uh, Dugger Pug says, uh, Yana's shoe is trash. Oh. And then District Deal says, coming to a Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not expensive, 120, you know? Yeah, 120. Uh, question: Are you gonna pick up? Well, we'll see it on the on the releases. I think next week. But any of the SpongeBob, uh, Kyrie? Oh uh, no! I mean, <laughs> if for resale, I don't even think there's a lot of resale for that. So I'm gonna wait them. I'm gonna I'm gonna 
<laughs> Man, this guy's just trolling. What's <laughs> up with this guy? He keeps making new accounts. How is this guy <laughs> doing this? I don't know. I'm like, I'm trying to get into my Zen mode. I'm like, what's the <laughs> problem, dude? Like, <laughs> well, he keeps making new accounts and coming back. Where, where's our, where's um Haruna? Supposed to be our moderator. Yeah. <laughs> and, and our hustle and muscle is not even here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hilarious. I mean, it's like, All right, next one. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm sorry about your wife, buddy. All right, next one. Um, this is the last of the weekend releases. Like, that's it. Uh, cool gray Jordan fours, one ninety, which comes out tomorrow. Um, anybody gonna pick these up? Are you? Oh man, that's clean. That's clean. But I really want to get this under retail. Uh, oh, under retail? Yeah. I mean, like, that can happen. Outlets? Outlets. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are going to be like super GR. So They're super GR. Yeah, everywhere mean, you go, you can probably pick these up. Yeah, it just sucks that I, I'm a size 9, so any any size 9 below is going to probably sell out quick first. Sell out first. Mm, I don't um, think so. I, I don't know if the hype is really there. there, unless you were around in 2004. True, true. Because yeah. people are like, how come there's no Nike Air on the back? It never came with Nike Air on the back. So you have to, I mean, if you knew that back in the day and you were wearing this, 2004, mm -hmm. then that makes sense. You know, you can appreciate it just has a Jumpman in the back. But Wait a minute. That, they have a, this is a Nike Air back? No, it just has a Jumpman. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. So uh, Gabe says these are going to sit like the Mocha 3s. Could. Yeah, it could. Yeah, yeah I that's see true. It. Happy. That's true because Mocha was kind of like there, you know, like people still rock it, but I guess it's not really OG. Yeah. Um, I mean, like I actually held the Thinker Three, the one that released this weekend, the black pair. Oh, okay. Um, it's actually pretty good. the The quality is pretty good. Now, if this one is actually built as the same as the Tor, uh, the Toronto Force or the Raptor Force, um. I might I might pick it up because it's just clean. Like I think this this collar will fit, and you know it's not hard to match the outfits with this one. Yeah, so I mean definitely clean for the collection. I don't know about resale. You can try some of the smaller sizes. I really don't know. But Nike is giving you a break this week because that's right. all for weekend releases. Yeah. Um, Doug, the, Doug the Pug. I only cared about pizza rolls in two thousand four. <laughs> Man, I still care about them now. <laughs> I'm eating pizza rolls right now. There you go. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Store updates. Um, Marshall's coming to St. Matthew's in a vacant Toys R Us location. So this is Louisville, apparently. Man, don't talk about that. <laughs> I don't know when this is coming up, though. Okay. Uh, this is just came out yesterday, this article. So it looks like they're getting a Marshall's. Other than that, we didn't get any other store updates. I don't know what's going on uh, with Ross or Burlington, all of that. So two weeks ago. Uh, Ross did fall because everybody was hitting on Kobe 11s at Marshall's. So Marshall's stock went up, overtook Ross, Ross at number three, TJ Maxx, DD's discounts, of course, five. Uh, the thing I noticed though, after everybody tagging, uh, tagging me and stuff on IG for the show, I only saw one pair of Kobe 11s. So, like, that's it, they're they died out. Mm. Uh, that sucks. I was, I was hoping that, like... I mean, I want to find them still. Yeah, so do I. My store never even got any of that stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. We only got those Kobe 10s in that, like... Yeah, non Fox colorway. <laughs> <laughs> man, I got uh, my LeBron 12s and... Uh, LeBron K 13s. KD8s. Yeah, KD8s. Like, All right, let's get into it. So, DD's discount, TJ Maxx, remain the same... And Dee Dee's discounts uh, legalize ferrets. Mm. Stella McCartney Ultra Boost. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're shocked. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you said Stella McCartney, but they had the ugliest Stella McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's <is> brutal. $45. <laughs> and how many did you find at Burlington? Of Was it the same mm. model? No, this is the Ultra Boost. Mm. Okay. And different. Yeah. Colors. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a black and white leopard print, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I found six, I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Let me see. I think someone said in the chat, what did they get? Oh, uh, Shuey Lewis and the news. Few pairs of the 11 invisibility cloaks. Yeah, mm. clean. Um, so Ron 23 sells. Now we're going to TJ Maxx, some different various gloves, uh, football and soccer. I think people have been picking up like uh, what football, various teams and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, you can look out for that. And that's it. No one else tagged me on anything else for DD's discounts and TJ Maxx. So must be dying down. Marshall's down to number three, and a lot of the Kobe stuff died down. Um, a couple of Vapor Max utility, but not as much as there was in the weeks past. So Marshall's, of course, they should deals. Air Max at 95, NSW 50 bucks. And would you pick these up or no? Is that women's? I think this is women's, but complete with box. Yeah, right. I mean, I might, I might just pick them up. You know, it's. At this point, I'm not really that picky. <laughs> I'm not finding anything in our marshals. But for some reason, the NSW series are the ones that doesn't sell well. Yeah, I I think if we've seen the blue one at Burlington. Yeah, the blue, the white, and uh, yeah, it's it's odd. But, uh, but whatever, we can't we can't be choo we can't be choosers. Figures can't be choosers at this nope. point. Uh, Air Max ninety five, just do it. And uh, I think these maybe like six months ago five months ago i mean if they're back i'm all for it right right they're pretty decent they're pretty yeah. good yeah there you go 60 bucks next one uh district deals and hustle bin so 60 bucks medicine ball so air trainer three medicine ball and then uh district deals asked didn't these just come out um i think so yeah yeah, because I think they came out at the same time the LeBron pack. Yeah, this is the newer, the newer, yeah, it's the newer trainers. But yeah, I think I think that's kind of high. Sixty for these. Yeah. Oh. And then the uh, Barclays at forty nine, and yeah. I did see these Barclays at mine, but except the all white ones, uh, this one is at least like an OG Phoenix Suns type of color. Uh, but fifty bucks. Here's a question: Would you rock Barclays? No, no, I don't want anything to do with Barkley. Guy can talk, guy can shoot, and no rings. So Barkley's, those Barkley's actually do well from Doug the Pug. I just figured because of the colorway, but the all white ones that I saw, I was like, uh, they look like they just look stumpy. <laughs> that's like, all. That's all his shoes. Like Barkley himself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> chalk. It looks like a chalk shoe. <laughs> So I wish I could find the uh, black CBs. There we go. No way. Yeah, I only found the white ones, but these, you know, OG colorway. Uh, next one, A7 resells a whole lot of the 29 wow. playoff pack at $100 each. No. And... <laughs> did we see one of those, right? Yeah, I think we did see this again? one. But not this many. I mean. Wow. 100 too. Wow. 59. Yeah. 59, yeah. We'll pick them up. Because... <laughs> If, you know, 29 is still a good ball shoot. Yeah. And I give it to this Marshalls for at least looking clean. My yeah. Marshalls lately have been looking <laughs> <laughs> trash. Yeah, dude, I went, me and my wife split up earlier today. She went through a different route. I went through a different route. And, man, like, our Marshalls were trash. Like, I found, like, an SB box. And then as soon as I opened it, there was, like, a Jordan Trunner in there. <laughs> I was like, yeah, just my luck. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy says 100 is too much, but I did flip one for 180, but it took forever. Yeah, that's so, true. At least a I, little a patient yeah, hold. Yeah, I think 130, 150 will move this. That's why you got to, like, buy this at, like, 70 or something. Yeah, and also look at the sizes here. Like, we know that these 11 and a half, so you're going to leave them behind. Um, <laughs> yeah. Another 11 and a half. Okay, next. Uh, back again. Flex Ooh. on eBay. Flexing again with the Vapor Max utility. Man. Uh, 80 bucks. And a nice a good, little mix. Good, good sizes, too. It's like the most popular sizes. Yeah, 10 and a half and 11. Yeah, that uh, was... Did you but, see the figures or no? No, I haven't seen those. Um, oh, okay. But I but I think... I will, I fixed some up at the outlets, but they were like 7 and an extra 30 for your friends and family. But but I think this one's like... um, This one's kind of like... You know, at 80... Like, I... I'd say still pick up, but you know, like you're not really expecting one fifth, one sixty, one seventy for it. Probably like one thirty to one fifty range. 
Yeah, I mean, it could happen. I guess. I mean, really got to be. Yeah, because they're at the outlets. They're at the outlets too. Yeah. Also depends on what color you find. This one, yeah. I don't think we saw this yeah. color. I think people found like a greenish one. Yeah, I mean. that's true. In the, the white, you know. Yeah. Mm, but yeah, I mean, I guess it's utility. It's, it's, it's supposed to be decent. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's back. Oh my! This guy's just gonna put on a show for us. <laughs> I mean, I was in Vegas and I was at eBay Open, so. Look at those tiny ideas. <laughs> let me uh, see. Who? <laughs> let me see. <laughs> Next one, uh, electric relish. It's the eighty bucks for the command force. So apparently, these are back. Uh, size ten. Would you rock these? Nope. <laughs> I think you probably look hilarious if you rock these. Yeah. Two bigger yeah, than you. Give me up to my knees. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then I guess that's it, man. Marshall's like, what's going on here? Marshall's died out or something. Uh, but Ross, it looks like Ross heating up a bit. So at number two, very close to number one, Ross uh, been doing a little bit better. So uh, look at all the jersey finds out here. Oh man, I can't wait. Uh, so let's see what what, loca what location are this guy. So we can't tell. <laughs> what location? Uh, Family Guy, Hustler, and then Flip Flip. Oh, so Philly, Stevie Florida, D. Florida, and uh, what's this guy? Cardinals? Where's that at? Arizona, Arizona, Arizona Cardinals. Both, both of them. No, oh, that one's Forty Nine ers. So there's oh. somewhere on. We're somewhere over here in the West. I mean, Garoppolo jersey, Fitzgerald, and then looks like a Jameis Winston, and I guess like a Wentz. Um, I think they're what forty bucks. At least these, but they are sewn, so that could help a little bit. I did see, I think, like uh, Antonio Brown, Steelers, uh, the the Odell Beckham Giants. I've seen, you know, players don't play for them anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but these, I mean, solid. At least they're like actual players that are with them right now. So, you know, make some good money in those. Uh, next one. So, Merch Mayhem and wow. Don Alpha Cleat. So, Up Tempos are apparently back. Uh, these are all also for kids, probably thirty nine bucks. Um, did you ever find any of these or no? Wait, no. Nope. I, I know you I said mean, you don't have Ross, but yeah, I mean, like, still travel to Ross. I haven't found those. Oh, okay, um, I think this one I sold a size seven Y. I think for a hundred around there. I think, but six Y, seven Y, probably gonna be your best option. And who knows? There's like a slew of them, so three pairs each. Uh, City Hustle. And Dapper Fanatic. So City Hustle Project Rock. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And then Dapper Fanatic. Let's see, birthday deals at Ross. So it looks like he picked up some different Converse <clears throat> and some there's some other stuff on here um, that he tagged us in. So uh, that one, 29. And then Project Rock, well, easy money. Should be easy money. Uh, next one, KC15. Double A is a little mix. It looks like Fry with some other stuff. So total one eighties, hmm. and I don't know what the price is. Fifty, and then Surge sells stuff. <laughs> wow, so Air Max stuff. Plus, yeah, two seventies. Hustle B colorway right there. Right. Yeah. What size is that? <laughs> yeah, let us know. Surge sells stuff. Not bad. Uh, next one, A seven resells Air Max ninety five at sixty bucks, and then Surge sells stuff. Air Max 98. Is that um, the same Air Max you found? No, mine was like a little bit different. It had like a uh, like a weird checker kind of pattern all the way around. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. That one does all right. Uh, but I did see this Air Max 95. Here's how I thought an Air Max 95. Um, see if you agree. But I think with 95s at this point, you have to get like an OG colorway or something that's really popping because I don't see people buying 95s. If they're not that, you know, if they're yeah. just something random, I see them just kind of like being left behind. Yeah, I think not like they're used to. One, because I think Air Max 270 came out. You know, I think people just want that newer technology in their shoes. And also, I've never seen Nike come out with Air Max 98s like this year, you know, like, or maybe just within the, you know, discount retailer store to shop at. So I think, yeah, you're right. Um, it's not really the, that top option anymore so any everybody goes for 97 98s 
and now you have the 270s you have vapor max you have vapor max plus so and to be honest like the shoe is really not that comfortable i don't know what you think about 95s as far as comfort yeah i agree too um you know the bottoms are kind of like kind of stiff and kind of yeah. like bulky mm -hmm. Uh, but I think like OG colorway, like a red and black one, like that one, or like the neon was like, oh, the Volt one, mm -hmm. or even the other one that we saw that was like a gray with purple or whatever. It's like an OG colorway. That mm -hmm. one still sounded pretty good. That one was like all over the outlets. Yep. Uh, but other than that, they're kind of pushing it. Right. Especially right. for 60. Yeah, because so. the outlets, they're like up to like what, 99, 79, you know? Yeah. I think someone had, oh, Robert said 89 plus 30. Yeah, so. that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, next one, let's see, TDBS Marketplace, 80 Ooh, bucks for wow. flying at utility. Uh, but Allen resells with mm. the steel at 40 yeah. bucks. 40? 40 bucks. What for size paper. is that? 11? 12. Oh, 12? Wow. Yeah. Man. What do you think about this purple, though? I mean, it, I mean, well, here's, we, I'm biased with VaporMax. I love VaporMax, but I love VaporMax that have, like, dark bottom soles. You know, like black, gray, because like I don't like clear bottom vapor masks because I've had one and they've yellowed on me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, even the purple, I mean, hey, little Lakers. Yeah, I think it's clean. Lakers. I think yeah. I think it's really clean. I, yeah. I think it's because there's it's predominantly black. It's not like really flashy purple. You know. Yeah. You know, like I could see LeBron wearing this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I saw those purple ones for one sixty. They went quick. Oh wow! Um, so you should have priced it higher, because I think, because well, because I think the purple ones didn't come come out of Nike. I think it only came out if I if I'm not mistaken, the Finish Line or a Foot Locker exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong, hmm. but I don't I think. No yeah, I, I don't think this came out uh, through Nike.com. So, um, and that's what I've been seeing. Uh, the ones that are going through Ross, I mean, through like you know the discount retailers, are the ones that are pull out uh, stock from Nike. Uh, from from Foot Locker's finish line and champs. And that one's wild, but forty yeah. bucks, uh, super steel size twelve, and then of course you found your own size. You would probably want to keep those. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Luck Ducks. Oh, there, for, go. there we go. Vapor Max ninety five and uh, seventy dollars. This one is size thirteen, and actually two of them. Vapor Max ninety five. So Mr. Mm -hmm. Steel, your finds and a different colors mm -hmm. for that blue and uh, like blue and gray. Right. Both of these were at the outlets at one point, and they even went back wall. The times I went to like California and even here, eventually mm -hmm. went to back wall. Uh, but seventy, I think Burlington has them cheaper. I think Burlington, they were uh, fifty nine, so a ten dollar difference might help. Mm -hmm. Depend, uh, you know, where you're selling it. But both of these next one, Don off a cleat and uh, flipping dollars. So. Just more Vapor Max. I mean, Vapor Max Plus, um, mm. more stuff. What you can see this it looks like it's like orange, white, Modern, yeah, yeah, and then this one with uh gray. So 50 bucks. I mean, cheap, and apparently, yes, more fry stuff is also coming out. Fry for uh 50 around the same, all right. Uh, go steals and deals. So NMD, and of course, some cleats, and then here, Tampa finds. Uh, Kobe Protro cleats 97s and Prestos. So, Kobe's, you said you could rock them, yeah. Kobe once, yeah. I actually rocked this, uh, uh when I was in uh freshman in college. Uh, there, I mean, I think the old ones were even comfortable. I don't know, maybe what do you think? What do you think? Um, the Protros, I don't think they're that much comfortable than the last ones. I think there's a lot more, they're a lot more stiffer this time. Yeah, I think they are too. And um, this noise canceling thing mm. is kind of weird too. Like it's stiff, it right? Feels like, yeah, it feels kind of cheap. Yeah. Um, but hey, they're selling good as long as they move well. We have, I mean, we do not care. How, how much are they? Like fifty bucks, right? No, I think they're sixty-four. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's so good. Plus, they're not like they're not like they're not. They didn't release on the outlet, you know. That's true. Yeah, they didn't. Remove, they didn't yeah, 64, I think is, uh, there you go, 10 and a half. Yeah. Um, I don't know about Rocco, though. I mean, they're. Well, it's, they're too white to get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Just Better get it. some, yeah. Once <laughs> name, you're done. <laughs> All right, uh, Fabes Finds and Collectibles.Beyond, uh, more cleats. 
Hey, if cleats are just going to keep coming out, keep picking those bad boys up, 40 bucks, and then also double and triple check, especially on the anti-clog. We don't want any of those missing studs, which people have been getting burnt left and right with those like missing studs. So you got to keep checking those. Uh, sneaker finds 12 and uh, La Vida Retail 2. Nice little mix in here. So next one, let's see. Oh, here we go. Kid Icarus Mining and Will. There you go, 40 bucks. But he said, sadly, cleats were missing some spikes. Hmm. So, I'd still take it. Him. Right there. You still take it? Yeah. Just order those. Uh, you can just order them off of eBay or some yeah. of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Next one, Soul Searching Zon, 40 bucks, And Ross Shallington, also a nice little mix here. Um, back in Georgia. So we met him for uh, eBay Open, Maximal Finds, and Closet Kicks, and Merch Mayhem. Wow. With a very similar model, but this one... You can see different for the anti-clog, and then this one is probably the one you want the most because you don't have to deal with that kind of stuff. For some reason, those are like the slowest moving colorway. This one? Yeah. Is orange? <laughs> yeah, orange and gray. I don't know why. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I've had a bunch of women. They, they're like the last ones to sell always and the cheapest. Uh, so Don Hustle says, if you have replacements, you won't have that problem. But Dapper Fanatic says he had to buy studs on eBay, eight dollars each. Tough. Each. Each. Um, here's the thing, though, with the studs, it's always good to keep, um, but you also keep in mind the sizes. So like, you'll have yeah. like 11, 13, and fifteen, more than likely. Are there other yeah. sizes, or that's like the no, main those are like the standards though that comes with the stud. So 11 is usually uh, up front. And, and then 13, 13 is the stock, back. right? And then the yeah. 15 is like the extra. Yeah. So, yeah. Every, it's funny. When I got those major haul, I just I just pretty much asked for all the studs they have in the back. They were like picking through boxes at the bottom of the boxes because some of them don't match really. But but you can order off-brand, uh, not Nike studs. So um, I forgot. I think I got it off Amazon uh because they're standard threads so i think it's just and then that I, I bought extra studs and extra tool tools oh, okay make sure we didn't freeze so yeah you can do that um get some extra ones but always look at the sizes um even before you get them because if you were thinking you had 13 at home and then you really needed 11 you might throw it off but uh always try to keep some extras if possible all right burlington number one and people still finding Vapor Max nonstop. Um, Carolina Kicks. So uh, Russell Wilson, Alpha Menace Elite. So it has his logo right here. Oh wow! Um, on the tongue. So twenty bucks. I'm kind of curious in how much these are actually selling for. Um, um, I'm kind of surprised he wears that kind of cleat. Yeah, maybe they just made it for show. Yeah. What does he wear? Why to look that up? Mile High yeah. Hustle. Uh, Cole Hans, Cole Hans. And the uh, golf, so yep. nice mix. Let's see, next one, Clausy Kicks, <laughs> Jordan 33. Wow, wow. <laughs> made it out there already. I mean, they are at the outlets, yeah, the yeah, eventually, part. yeah, they'll be there, especially the red ones. The red ones are everywhere. Um, and the red ones, we don't, we have like a weird, like a uh, white and beige one or something, but this one's pretty clean. Would you rock this one? Yeah, I think this is the first one, that's the one that Jake has, right. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Uh, Mint Fresh up tempos. Yeah, we remember remember those, the women's. Yeah. So I guess these are coming back. More mm. up tempos for everybody. Right. Next one, Don Alpha Cleat with back to back Vapor Max. This guy just doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. um, him and District Deals, which are apparently in the same area. I don't know how this is possible. <laughs> uh, but back to back Vapor Max finds Vapor Max Fire. Um I mean, these are just easy, easy pickups. Mm -hmm. Not only that, like a look at this color, it just like sticks out. Like right. as soon as you walk in, um, authentic athletic apparel, Air Max ninety five, which you talked oh, about. Oh, that's earlier. the ugliest going away too. Yeah, this one, this one, I could see it being pretty rough. Um, to flip that one, Stevie D reselling Adidas authentic soccer jerseys uh, for twenty retail for one thirty. Oh yeah, I've for some reason I've just never really had luck with <laughs> adidas i don't know um 
but that's pretty cheap though 20 bucks for 130 so is that their top tier is that the top tier of adidas uh I think. that's a good question i don't hmm. i don't know let, let us know if, if if the 130 retail is top tier because i know nike's top tier is 165 yeah yeah which is a totally different feel too yeah vapor knit yeah, yeah. that one I, i'll pay 40 for that all, all day long uh, so Tampa finds an A7 resale. So Air Max oh, 97 wow. and then the multicolor uh, Vapor Max. Uh, the multicolor to- surprises me. Yeah, I want those. Uh, <laughs> and that was that actually sold out. It sold out quick. I wonder how much they're so, playing. What, 59? Burlington yeah, loves but, 59. Well, but but I don't know if this is the women's, though, because they made the one for women's and they made one for men's. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like he's yeah. in the men's section. Yeah. Um, so if so, I mean, either way, you're gonna get them. All. You're gonna pick them up anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that one, I think this one is actually a kid's. Yeah, uh, forty-five bucks size, uh, six and a half. Why? So, are you picking up kids, ninety-sevens or? Yeah, as long as they're like not four Y. <laughs> <laughs> Anything bigger than four, four yeah. and a half Y. Five. I think five Y is the smallest I would take. Oh, uh, cool. my! <laughs> Classic Kicks got two of them. Man, what up? What are we doing, Glenn? Why are we doing this live show? We should be sourcing right now. <laughs> yeah, they're sourcing and cleats. Um, then two cool cat finds with the Air Max ninety eight at sixty. I also found these. Um, they're not really moving well, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. But this one, Vapor Max, clean. And let's see next one, Chicago City flips and closet kicks again. Um, would you rock these? No. Remember we talked about this. Oh yeah, sorry. They're like high heels. <laughs> well, Jake was rocking a different color on eBay Open. Yeah. He was even taller after wearing yeah. these. Uh, two seventies, also with the Amrex Plus hat. The Amer- I don't know what's the story with the Amrex Plus hat. I don't yeah. know, but some of them have sold well. Oh, really? Outlets, yeah. What? They're in the outlets, right? Yeah, some of them sold pretty good, like 40, 45 range. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. CJ and Enterprises and Reseller Space with uh, Air Max 97, the uh, Unboxed. Do you remember this one? Yeah. It's at the outlet already, too. Um, so right now, I think you can buy for 110 online. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like being clearance by multiple uh, websites. I thought they were going to do a little bit better than... than yeah, I mean, like, they're brown. Like... <laughs> Is this 24? Yeah. What the heck? All right, 25 oh. bucks. Oh, yeah, I'm buying that. <laughs> and then I'm having everything get price matched on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tampa Finds, nice little mix of cleats and more, and then Surge sells stuff. Um, 95 sneaker boot. Yeah, they're usually like 80 bucks, right, huh? Yeah, so I don't know. Cheaper. And then uh, Air Max Nutty. So a little mix there. Next one, Don Alpha Cleat back-to-back. Um, all right, so I don't even know where to start, but Cleat, Vapor Max, and whatever else you want. 270s. Wow. They're both from the same dude. Um, probably just randomly different days, walks in and just fills up a cart with non-stop fine so um dc that's where it's at so dc um out hustled we'll try to figure that out gotta go back again yeah we're gonna i'm gonna be there next week <laughs> next week um what the heck is this on alpha cleat again yep oh man it is on alpha cleat again man that's it all right, that's it. You know what? This is just, yeah, this is, all right, just sit. Bye. Have a good night. Yeah, and look at this guy. Evey, <laughs> Evey, Joey is already on his way. Yeah, I gotta move to DC. This your deal. <laughs> this <is> your deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this week Ross moved up, Marshall's moved down, and that uh, ends it. So. Uh, DD's discounts, TJ Max, Marshalls, Ross, and Burlington at number one. All right. Now, let's get into our main topic. Then we're doing the giveaway and we're mm-hmm. done. Right. So make sure we didn't freeze or anything like right. that. Looks like we're good. We're a little blurry, but um, if you're a little blurry, we'll have to refresh. 
Okay, so main topic, we're going to talk eBay news, eBay open, the things that um, we can look out for and things they told us about selling, feedback we gave them, um, some of the answers they gave us. And if you have questions in the chat, put them in there about eBay open or maybe just eBay general questions and we'll see if we remember um, some of the <laughs> answers <laughs> so we can uh, talk about those because... I know, you know what we ate though. Oh uh, yeah, well we ate a lot, but we did burn it off by playing basketball, and then we ate oh, yeah. it all over again, yeah. uh, in and out. So I'm gonna. Here's the five things that they announced. We'll go further into detail. I'll give you know my feedback. Ken will give his, and then um, just some of the general stuff that we talked to them about, um, and the things they're planning at least for 2020. So. Multi-user account access sellers can now add employees or delegates to perform seller activities on their behalf without giving full access to their eBay account. Now, this is really for like baller, big time baller sellers. Yeah. You have three, four workers under you. We don't want yeah. them to go through your PayPal, your other account stuff. Um, so that's what really what this helps out. I think, yeah, I think realistically, once you're running about like 2000 listings, I think this would be where it's at. Yeah, so hire whoever, and they're doing listings. They're doing yep. all of that. So which is good. I mean, you know, for I mean, for for you and me, you know, we're trying to get there, and uh, you know, we plan on hiring a shipper, a lister, and you know, the listing part. Most likely, we're gonna outsource it from a different country. So I think this will be good and uh, you know, safer uh, for us. There we go. Um, Doug the Pug, did you buy a B Korean barbecue? I did no. not. Matter of fact, Jake, no to flip it, bought oh. a Korean barbecue. Did he? He did because he won money by gambling. Was it Korean barbecue? <laughs> yeah, we went to Jen. Remember? And he like pitched in. Well, he pitched in a lot. Yeah, he pitched in a lot. For, oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody else that was there. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. <laughs> uh, favorite hustler snacks? Oh, the Butterfinger uh, popcorn, popcorn from Burlington. Yes, but it's rare and it's raw. Limited. Yeah, they're hard to find. Yeah. I mean, we can settle for the Oreo and what's the other one that we've had? I mean, the Mrs. Fields. Oh yeah, yeah. And then oh yeah, but <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Jake flexing. Are both of you wearing pants today? I'm actually wearing pants. I'm All right, shorts. There we go. Uh, Terapeak integration. So you should have access to this now. Um, sellers will have access to Terapeak's pricing insights and a new research tab within Seller Hub. Terapeak provides demand and pricing data to help e-commerce sellers know what your product is worth, what you should source if you are looking to expand, and how to competitively price your listing. Uh, do you care for Terapeak? Yes, I do. Um, well, he here's the thing. Um, so everybody that has a store, right, will get therapy. I'm actually looking at it right now. Um, but the the I think I think from from my own experience, the only beauty about therapy is when we're looking at sold listings, when we're doing research, it's only showing 30 days, uh, 90 days. It's only showing 90 days of history of sale. Uh, but with therapy, it will show us. 365 days, so a full year of sales, and Therapeak actually shows you the percentage of sell through. So, which is good, you know, like if if you're not like a, if you're not really like too nerd about numbers, I think that I think Therapeak is going to really help a lot. Yeah, I mean, someone like you that likes analytics and looking at all the details and like you know can like sit in here mess with that and figure things out, but then other People that are just like, hey, I just want to source. I just want to get cool finds, <laughs> list them, and I'm done. <laughs> right. But, yeah, I mean, like, because not only this is only for, like, research or something like that, but I think it gives you a reassurance on what kind of inventory you're stocking on. You know, like, uh, we've researched before that Nike does, like, more than 10 times in sales compared to Adidas. So, for me, it's like, that's actually a smart move. I'm going to buy more Nike brand. Than Adidas, so that just means Nike has a bigger, uh, big, uh, bigger market share. So th those are the things that you can see, and then also you can research the stuff that are rare, right? Like one of the perfect example is like 
the stuff that we run into is like the fry brand right fry boots and stuff like that when me and glenn ran into it in kansas city i was like oh you haven't seen this in your area it's like no so because one if you research it there's not really a lot of souls but we all know now that they're easily 250 dollars in retail so we can easily flip them 100 250 so this uh, actually helped and also when you're researching uh 90 days right 90 days will only show you for example we're looking at summer season right now we're all, we're not gonna see a huge uh, history or a proper representation of sales for winter winter stuff or jackets because nobody within the last 90 days really bought jackets yeah that's but, true. but during uh during winter time right you'll see a lot of spike there so with therapy you'll be able to look further back and same as well during winter time when we start you know buying shorts and tank tops it's it's not really going to show uh the summer uh the summer history so that that's a really good one good one about it yeah you could do the same i mean when i was messing with it i mean i did the same thing searching products by style code and then non-style code of course just by like title so search different ways on the same item and you'll yeah, get like, all these different results for them that's too true. so there we go uh let me see Okay, so background removal. Now this one is <laughs> <laughs> this one's still like in beta mode, and yeah. they didn't really tell us a whole lot. Of, yeah, you had to sign up for it, something like that, right? Yeah, um, and of course makes like a white background. I don't know like how clean. I mean, the demo, of course, the demo is gonna make it look awesome. Yeah, um, but we did have someone it. else show us um, in hand, like they. I mean, she had her app. Um, they did it and we saw it and then like, you know, it looks good. looks clean. I just didn't see all like the fine details of it. Um, so when me and like Ecom Moose, I don't know if Moose is here, but we talked about this too. And we're like kind of thinking about it for a while. Like, would you want, I mean, clear background like this is clean. It looks good. But also do you think everyone's just going to look the same? Right. I, I think at the end of the day, if you're doing this, I, I mean, I mentioned it to him, like, might as well use a stock photo. I mean, well, pretty much. I mean, right. You know, <laughs> so it's kind of like, eh, I don't know. I mean, it's cool, but it's not really like one of these features that we're like dying. Like we needed this now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> uh, let me see. District deal says, is this really a top selling point for eBay? <laughs> yeah. District deals already use stock photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys are hyped. I mean, um, <laughs> this will remove those beds and blankets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, guess so I guess, I guess, like, um, that could happen for the people like yeah. that were used to doing offer up Mercari listings. Now you can get a clean background for right. free. Yeah. Um, but then if I'm using my same background, like that same like metal background, I do think yeah. it is going to stand out more, even yeah, more sure. now from this like white background. But We'll see when this happens, super beta mode. I don't know. All right, next, manage delivery. So they've talked about this in the past. They announced it here. It's still very, very early. Mm -hmm. um, the new service allows sellers to store inventory closer to buyers in strategically located warehouses across the country, resulting in faster delivery time and lower shipping costs. So. AKA this is Amazon FBA right. or eBay. I eBay. don't know. I don't think they even really know yet um, how well this is going to work. Um, how or who can even sell using this? How do yeah. you manage, what for, kind of products can you sell? Yeah. From what we understood was uh, you had to apply for this. Uh, only certain sellers are going to be allowed to do this. Uh, so, well, we also talked about this, Glenn, right? Like, um, um, they were pitching it to me they, because, you know, with, with my situation, I have a two-bedroom apartment with 1,500 items here. Um, they said, you know, you could literally get your room back or get my apartment back. But the only maybe downside about this is we can't sell this on a different platform anymore, you know? So, so a lot of us sell multi-platform, StockX, Goat, Poshmark, even Mercari. So uh, I don't know. We they didn't, they didn't lay out the rules that if it's in eBay, it can only be sold on eBay. I know FBA has a thing that you can fulfill it and send it from from the warehouse to a person. Uh, I don't know. They haven't covered that yet. So I think this is one of the very 
at least uh, you know details that we know of. So, but I mean, it it, it sounds good. It definitely sounds good for sure yeah. because they even talk about um, it's like it will work like GSP locally because once it's there, they'll handle all the returns, they'll handle all the fraudulent transactions and everything. So that's the only good side about it. Yeah, and I I guess I can see people that are selling. I don't know, very small, cheaper, quick items that move like on Amazon, stuff like that, that yeah. people really want and they necessarily, I guess that they need. Right. They like would be ordering them consistently. <laughs> like toilet papers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I can see that. But mm -hmm. like you said, for sneakers, if you are selling them on multi-platforms, like mm -hmm. you don't want your stuff stuck at a warehouse. I mean, even yeah. I even think about this too when I'm doing FBA, like, you know, if I'm going to commit to that, I mean, you're going to have to get it shipped back. Then it's going to get things kind of difficult. Right. Um, so, yeah, we'll see where this goes. Uh, managed delivery. I don't know. Also, like, where, where their warehouse is going to be located. And well, I mean, like, I think I think I'm interested. I think we should reach out to them again and see if we can try to do some test shipment just, just for the experience. We'll see what happens. So, managed we'll, delivery. <laughs> we'll send them. We'll send all our low-end fleets there. <laughs> all your academy yeah all right so last one new seller protections now this one is huge we'll talk about this one um but it gets better also i guess from the feedback that we had uh right. me ken and uh, jake when we talked to them so top rated sellers located in the u.s and who offer 30-day returns ebay is introducing two new financial protections first ebay will issue a seller invoice credit to cover return label cost if a buyer makes a false item not as described claim. Second, eBay will now allow sellers to issue partial refunds for all items that are returned damaged. So, uh, <laughs> anything you want to say about this first? Um, so, one, um, it's 30-day returns. You don't have to offer free returns. Yeah. Right? So, that's one. Uh, um the there they can they'll credit up to six dollars of uh label cost so which is for sneakers you know it's probably like 70 50 to 70 percent of our cost for a uh, thing um and also well they they when we talked to them you know they admitted it that it's it's very uh broken right now um it's very behind uh um, you know, we mentioned about selling sneakers. What if you get, you know, you get a return, uh, you get a brick in return or you get fakes in return. Um, they, they, that's something that that's a pain for us sellers. Um, but we also understand that it really doesn't happen a lot. Right. But, but they do consider that there's a lot of sellers that, that are not doing this full time. And when you get, you know, have those kind of transactions, you get scammed. You know, two hundred, three hundred dollars. You lose your item, and then now you have to refund them, right? So I think those are the pains that they're trying to address here, and and I mean they 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 definitely hear it, um, but this is definitely that what they're trying to uh, solve, um, and I think they're going to the right direction. I mean, we directly spoke to the guy that's in charge, right, and even in his team. Um, uh, there's going to be more features too, you know, uh, especially when it's, when it's a false claim or it's a dispute, uh, they, they will automatically remove a negative feedback. You know how, like, if you don't take a return and then we dispute about it and then they're just going to leave a negative feedback, uh, that's going to be, uh, uh taken up. So the second part, uh, the company is also making it easier for all sellers to report buyers who violate eBay policies and has created a simple, clear set of consequences mm -hmm. if something does go wrong. So when we talked about this, um, they were they wanted to take a lot of things in consideration and be like, you know what, you know, Glenn Store, he's been selling on here for years. We trust him. This seller only has you know two feedback. They're new. Um, you know, they're going to like weigh that option in like who's been on this platform longer right. and really can be a trusted seller or buyer, um, instead of just automatically giving it to the buyer to where right. they automatically win. Yeah. So that's what they said, right? They're going to have, uh, they're going to, uh, your feedback and the number of transactions that you have is going to have more weight this time. Uh, so you know, like if you've been selling for a while 
and then this new buyer all of a sudden right just just tries to get one on you uh because buyers can make multiple uh uh accounts uh like our troll here they can do that <laughs> so so they're gonna be able to do that and um from what they've from what they've told us uh they're really going to deeper measure deeper measures even to a point uh uh locating ip addresses that any anybody that opens uh different accounts between one ip address they'd be able to do that so i think yeah well i for, for me so so it does happen a lot people say that w what's a lot right um go to your returns and look at how, your kind of transactions right now i am at five percent returns so good or bad returns it's under five percent so so technically that's not a lot well so michael says so you can just take advantage of new sellers um well you can't because now they're kind of putting in the ip address thing I and mean, maybe you could get away with the first one but then after that i mean i mean maybe you can get away with the first one but after that it's going to be according to them like going through all this then it's going to be tougher from there and seeing what you're going to do um and then is that handled by an algorithm i don't know um, I so there's there's a set parameters they said that glenn uh there's certain metrics that it gets hit you know uh how often this guy uh how often this guy opens the return they take that in consideration and we also can flag the buyer and report it right there's a report buyer or something like that there's a flag they I, I asked the question they said it's not really visible right now but they're gonna make that visible but but definitely there's gonna be uh, people handling cases for this um if it's a black and white kind of return or fraudulent transaction he mentioned right for example it's a red sneakers and the guy said this is black and he's gonna return it obviously that for them is a black and white uh uh wrong or false return yeah um so seller protection like a uh, deal said it is a little messy right now they mm -hmm. even admitted it's a messy it's a messy situation right now mm -hmm. they're working on it they're trying to get even more clarity of course by 2020 they're hoping they'll get more of that right. which leads us into i'm um, seeing some right. of the questions right um and so what happened was they had us and some other sellers in a room and we can ask pretty much ebay vps whatever we wanted right um which was really really cool jake um, so Jake started off with, um, the same thing, kind of like this, the seller protections, like the violations on how he gave them a full example, how he got ripped off on a Jersey, um, you know, a Joe Montana Jersey that I think at the time we did get them at Ross. I remember picking those up as well. I think they were like 30 bucks. Um, then someone sent him a fake and, you know, to not have that happen anymore at all on eBay. Like it's a big mm -hmm. thing. And he, you know, Jake was telling them. Like, why would I want to sell high-end sneakers on eBay right. um, if I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna get ripped off? Like, right. it would make no sense. Um, and the VP that we talked to, you know, we even have him on the video too. He was his son is now selling, you know, high-end stuff, and he even saw it himself. Like, random messages that were coming in, like, "Hey, I'll pay now if," uh, or they're sending him I'll, offers. Yeah, I'll pay. For him I'll what it was and i pay 900 bucks if you overnight this to this address yeah the text same, me. You know, the text that me. <laughs> yeah yeah so it's kind of like you know they know and that's what they're working on this is like their first step but they want to make sure it doesn't happen at all period so they're going to work on that next um and then ken's question was more on like the analytics part um kind of like how therapy was though but like doing your research and why not all completed listings are actually on there, um, which is weird too. Because if you're researching something and then listings are hidden, whether the person's hiding them or not, because we've seen people and we did research on our own stores, didn't yeah. even matter. Like we're not hiding listings, yeah. and we couldn't even find some, some of the stuff the that sales, we sold. Right. So yeah. that could also mess you up in store if you're looking for something and then like, hey, is this selling good or not? Like, what's going on? Um, so that one they're hoping that Terapeak will help with that and then they mm -hmm. kind of like what wanted you to like work with one of their guys or something to see what was going on i don't even know right. what happened with that mm -hmm. yeah and then so my question which someone took that from me right i was like ready i was prepared and i was like best <laughs> offer immediate payment and i was like come on and then 
So I told him, and uh, the other person also told him as well. And here's what they said. It's done. They will have immediate payment with best offer for all best offers, but not until PayPal is completely released from eBay, which right. means 2020. Managed payments. When managed payment takes over uh, the payment processing system. Uh, so it would be like your Poshmark and Mercari kind of system. Um, I see people saying that they're, um, you know, and, and as soon as they said that, fine, at least now we have clarity and then we'll hold them to it. Um, because yeah, Glenn said, you know, that was his question that your item will get hostage, right? Uh, if you don't pay and it could be a competition just trying to take you out of the market. So yeah, I mean, I, I, th I think it's a good news. Uh, me and Glenn are not in managed payments just because it was on beta mode and global shipping wasn't included and PayPal wasn't included in the first few months. So we're not, uh, we're not in it. So, um, so hopefully, uh, I think when it rolls out, it should be a hundred percent. And so of course it's taken forever. And the very beginning, when we heard the PayPal news, I was like, man, this, I don't know how they're going to pull this off. It yeah. sounds rough, like not paying with PayPal because I've gotten used yeah. to that for so long. Mm -hmm. um, but now, especially after this eBay open, I felt like they were heading in the right direction to where with PayPal not being there anymore, I think a lot of stuff is just going to get cleared out that we don't have to deal with. Like Eugene says, you know, PayPal, like doing people, um, what is it called again with the payments where they like through PayPal instead of like fight it through there instead of eBay? Oh, um, yeah, dispute the dispute. Yeah, I mean, it turns into like a huge mess in between. Yeah, yeah. Both. And why? Because they're two separate companies mm -hmm. trying to work on one transaction, right? And it doesn't even make sense anymore. And yeah. now it's just it's getting it's getting out yeah. of control. Yeah, so. because PayPal don't see the eBay messages and vice versa eBay don't see the PayPal evidence that we're trying to submit, you know, which is all of the other stuff. But uh, yes, that will be taken care of. And uh, one thing, a legit uh, chair of logs uh, mentioned about uh, the fees being taken out. So that's what they call fee netting. Um, which was awesome. Men I yes. had to let them know. Just yeah. So 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 from from what what from what we're what what we've been told and what we've been what we've been hearing is that the managed payment system should take care of that. Um, yeah. Well, and they just told us straight up that, that having this new managed uh, payment system without maybe, PayPal, yeah. they're going to take out the fees automatically. Because I told them, like, I hate getting that invoice at the very end. Right, right, right. <laughs> like, so, I have capital to use. Nope. In yeah. So, so right now, it'll be correct. eBay direct to bank account. Uh, Don Hustle, we don't know if there's the three the transaction fee like goat fee right like goat would uh uh like goat you know you have your money stored there and as soon as you transfer it there's like a transaction fee that's something that we haven't heard of i don't know if anybody on managed payment um is is here that that can answer that because we're both not in managed payment so hopefully not hopefully not and i don't know i haven't heard from anybody talking about uh bank transfer fee have you uh no i didn't hear anything about yeah. that yeah so hopefully so hopefully it's going to be like straight up like Poshmark or mercari yeah i think um i agree with uh don hustle like uh mercari is like pretty smooth when it comes to like you know actually like sending in an offer putting yeah. your you know your credit card all that's already set it's done as a buyer mm -hmm. as a seller everything's there too i guess the only thing with mercari that you can say does bother you though is that you don't get your money until you get a review well you know? same same with paypal i mean same with poshmark they have yeah. to rate you or i think it's three days after receiving it yeah. so so it's still kind of like the buy it now problem <laughs> or the yeah. best offer problem but we'll see hopefully hopefully um from what we've heard is if you're a good selling seller, you know, hopefully it gets released or something like that. You know, hopefully they'll come up with a system like that. But at the end of the day, it's just going to streamline uh, things better for us with managed payment. But, hey, it's 2020, man. We're, like, over halfway there. So uh, five more months, we'll be there. Yeah, well, we know it's not going to start immediately in 2020. <laughs> I don't even know when it's supposed to start. Yeah, right. Probably December. 
December 2020. <laughs> <laughs> December 2020. So, okay. So, a Therapeak is uh, on your Seller Hub. So, I guess anybody that has Seller Hub will have this. And on the on the tabs, uh, overview, orders, listings, marketing, performance, and there's a research tab. And that is therapy integration there. Um, and so Gabriel says, Poshmark wait times kind of sucks. Three days for review, then another three days for bank transfer. See, like if that, that happens for eBay, like, it's the same thing. I mean, that's that's like ugh. we're waiting like another. That's gonna be garbage. Like, I, I definitely don't want that to happen. Um, well, that's 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 you know, I think it'll be a double edged sword now because PayPal we get it right there, right? Yeah. Um. And then that's why I'm I I haven't I haven't really pushed managed payments yet. Let's see how it goes because PayPal right now, if somebody buys something from you around, you get the money right now and you can spend it using your PayPal card right yeah. so so now you guys are thinking <laughs> you know so 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 but it varies by bank my bank only takes two days for a poshmark transactions to go through uh go takes only overnight right if i believe as long as you as, for at least my bank as long as you transfer it before three or before two yeah. um so so it, yeah i mean at, at the end of the day I think we just have to roll with it. And me and Glenn are just, I think we're just waiting for the bet better version of what kind of stuff they're rolling out before we jump into it. Yeah. Um, or you can just do like what StockX does and then you just get paid as soon as they <laughs> scan it. <Yeah. laughs> oh Spoiled. man, I love that one. Spoiled. <laughs> um, okay, let me see. Where are we? Oh, can you follow with eBay managers and interview them by Q4? I think what well, they did say about coming onto the show and, and one of them talked about getting, if we did a workshop possibly. Mm -hmm. So, or uh, we could, or we, we could go there. I mean, we talk about uh, going there with eBay and just spending, you know, two days there and just, just document videos uh, with different uh, department heads. And I think that's one of the things that we talk to Bridget, right? Glenn, that, you know, like having somebody from eBay coming you know, uh, straight from the source's mouth, I think would really solidify everything. Uh, let me see. What about immediate payment? Yeah, we'll talk about that. It's not coming in until managed payments uh, roll out to everybody in 2020. Yeah, that one. Um, StockX got it right. <laughs> uh, StockX got it right because we Scott, also don't have to worry about returns. <laughs> if Scott Cutler is there already. Well, here's the thing, though, that about about StockX as a buyer, though. Um, as a buyer, I can tell you that you can get really good deals, but at the same time, like you can have a seller not ship it, which that could be in any platform, right? But then you can also like wait like two to three weeks by the time you get it. Like if they waited the third day to ship that out, and then by the time it gets authenticated and takes all that, I mean, as a buyer, if you're not patient enough, maybe you're like. I don't know, like a supreme hyped up kid. You're like, I need to flex on everybody at SneakerCon, mom. Like, I want them now. <laughs> like, that's gonna be a problem because now you gotta wait a while. Um, but as a seller, I think it's awesome. You know, UPS scans it, and then money's on its way. I like that. All right, uh, any questions um, on eBay Open, eBay stuff in the future? Things you want to throw out there before we do the giveaway? What is this? Oh man, we're well well over the. Right. Eight, it's what, 814 over here? All right. Let me see money like back a year or so. eBay, what's starting the model of return policy at Costco? We take everything back. Uh, let me see. I want two uh, giveaways two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's, I went out of town. So giveaways from two weeks ago and these giveaways are going out all at once. Um, and I was meant to get those out, but I didn't get info from one of the person. I should have just got the other two out um but yeah i'm sending those i still have them here trust me i didn't spend them um the giveaways from two weeks ago all three of them are here so i'm gonna send that out and i will be sending out two pairs of uh bread fours so let's get into the giveaway and see who's left and before we start to um i guess i need the info uh hustlerhacks1 at gmail.com uh, eBay open basketball for 2020. Um, I like that eBay Joey. And I think for next year, we'll try to get like full court and legit teams. 
Definitely, and maybe we'll get some refs or something. Yeah, refs, complete teams. You got to work with your team, strategize beforehand. Mm -hmm. so, so everybody's got to be fit and stay healthy, keep each <laughs> other accountable because that flop, that was my goal, to be able to play more than two games, and the last three games was like just standing Dying. around. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, and so – also, so questions on um, Jordans and wholesale and stuff like that. So I, I you know, I got a ra bunch of random questions that came in. Of course, um, delete, delete, <laughs> delete, delete. Here's the thing: like one of the main questions was like, why, why, um, like, are you not going to do Ross finds and all that anymore? Like, because you have this. And here's the thing: I'm barely starting in something like this, and it's very, very far from even scaling. It's like first and the couple of buys you guys saw the other video but it's nowhere near ross burlington marshall's like that stuff has to be built up even more now that q4 is here so that's never gonna stop um if i could sell stuff from ross burlington marshall's till i'm old i would damn well do so so that's never going away and if i can add this cherry on top with new releases of course i don't want to do it um so that's why i wanted to catch up on that because i know people were kind of confused like What's the deal with this channel and what's going to happen? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so giveaway time. Bread Fours, we have these 20 people that can win. Um, let me see. Let me get this. I mean, so people don't get confused. Okay, so these 20 people. And let me uh, random.org. Do, hey, do they have to be here? They don't have to be here. Oh. Because I'm catch to catch the replay. But yeah, I will yeah. do a giveaway for a live show for the people that are here. Yeah. So. Come on, Glenn. <laughs> oh, man. You got eBay Joey out here, man. That's Ooh. true. I'm going to be Joey. Uh, lucky on three legs. Boo. Even though he's here. That's probably why. But Merch Mayhem, Corey, I think uh, there's some people in here. Still kicking its sports. Okay, so random.org. 20. Or are we doing two sets of 10? Does that matter? No. We'll just spin. No. That means one guy can win twice? No. No, we have to take him off as soon as he wins. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Okay. So 20. Drum roll. So is this a first click or the third third round? Oh, man. <laughs> no. You got he, he, he could okay, be rigged. Refresh this. Okay. He could be rigged. Okay. Let me refresh this. Okay. Okay, so just once. Hey, let's ask the chat. Just once, everybody. Just once. Nate says just once. Like this is this is the winner right here. As soon as we press. This okay, button. just once. Let's go. Let's go. Trump roll. And you can pick whatever uh, size you want. Okay. Twenty. Who's the last guy? <laughs> so like silent. Hustle in silence. <laughs> uh, so hustle in silence. You have one. Uh, oh, there we go. Which is funny because we, I mean, we met him. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, he's a cool dude. Yeah. And hustle in silence. You have one. So now we're down to nineteen. And let me refresh. I'm gonna refresh. So, okay, one. All right, one nine, nineteen. Here we go. Here we go. This is our winner. Second one. Oh, crap. Second one. All right. 16. 16. Tyler Stanton. You have one. If you're uh, watching. or So, John, if you're not on the list, it's from the other list down yeah. to this list. Uh, so, here's the thing. If... if Tyler doesn't respond, then we will uh, redo it, you know, for this one. Uh, Hustle and Silence more than likely will because we met him. But for uh, Tyler, I guess we'll find out. And if not, then uh, we'll do this and I'll save this mini list. And then um, on IG, I'm also going to do another giveaway. So you still have a shot. Um, that, I don't know, maybe I'll do a Turbo Green instead. I don't know. Um, or bread for either one, but IG. So follow there. We'll do one and we'll do one for the live show only. So 
we'll make it to where there's no heads up. It's like yeah. only um, you just have to be watching and then right then and there. What happened? 250 people. It was on sheet. It was over here. So here's all the 250. Then we did a random to only down to 20. And then down to 20, we did it down to two. So those were our two winners. Um, let me see. Hustle and Silence, 25 bucks. So he's paying there for you his go. So there for we go. Thanks for shipping. Continuous free content. Appreciate that. Uh, Turbo Green Fire, still kicking its forces of worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> almost. You almost. There almost we go. Had it. <laughs> But yeah, trust me, we'll have plenty of other giveaways and uh, sneaker stuff. So especially for, uh, I think, Q4. And then we'll do pretty cool stuff. Uh, anything you want to say before we go? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good no, long no, live yeah. show. Yeah, it was, it was cool hanging out with you guys again. And uh, yeah, um, I'm actually going to sleep early because I'm going to source tomorrow. So there we go. All right, we'll see you guys. And uh, back to the in-store action vlogs so what's today wednesday so friday i'm um, finishing editing up my video in store action we're back in it back in the live shows so we'll see you there uh friday and monday and again live show on wednesday go out and get it